if we're trying to get out of out of close guard, I have to stand up. Okay, yeah. and like before I stand up, I have to be able to pin one of your arms, either a bicep tie or inside like an armpit tie here, right here. And from here, what I'm doing is I'm making space. I'm making a lot of space. And can you feel like the tension on the back here? So the next part of the puzzle is I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna open up here, okay? When I step up, I personally like, so if I, if I go up all the way, I like to get at least one of my knees in between here. Okay, so I, I'm always like, if I'm here, it's easy for you to get an underhook on, on one of my legs. <clears throat> then I have to deal with like a, another battle. So every time, if I get here, and I can get one side, like see how I'm moving? I shimmy here, one side, and I stand up here. I stagger my stance, okay? And then all I'm doing is I'm, I'm making that space, I'm pushing, pushing out and away. Okay, so from here we're, we're hand fighting. Maybe I pin this. I wanna somehow, okay, so think about your hand fighting. I wanna get here, okay? Bicep ties, but the best is, is armpit ties. If I can get this, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to escape. Okay, so I'm gonna push here, get up, and get out here. Okay, so you try it. Because I feel like, yeah, usually when I'm standing up, it's like really square. Nice. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so like even now, yeah. there's there's not much I can do even though you're you're standing up. So this is why I like the, the bicep ties. And look, you're squared up here. Yeah. I can't like, I can't scoop underneath. But eventually you're gonna have to let go of the bicep ties. Yeah. Right? So step into my um get your knee to my tailbone. Yeah. Yeah. And then push, 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 push. Yeah, there. The resistance here. Oh. Yeah, so now, now if I, if I have grips here, you have to deal with these grips before yeah, so you have to work on stripping. Stripping, bam, bam. Yeah, there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So from here, um, I personally like to go into leg locks right after I, right after I can break the, the guard, which is why I, I like the setup where I get here, I get one of my knees in, and right here we're in inside position. From here I can go back and then go into either cross Ashi or I could start working my 50-50 my attacks. Okay, and it, it all starts because I get one of my legs on, onto the inside. So from here, um, I personally like to go into leg locks right after I, right after I can break the, the guard, which is why I, I like the setup where I get here, I get one of my knees in, and right here we're in inside position. From here I can go back and then go into either cross Ashi or I could start working my 50-50 my attacks. Okay, and it, it all starts because I get one of my legs on, onto the inside. Like, let's say we get up and I, I don't like to play the, the leg lock game. So I get here, I immediately, I go for my guard passes. Okay, so it, it just depends on like where where you want to be. But the most important thing is to break, break the close guard, escape, and get out. Okay, and then another thing. Let's say you're super tight with this, and I can get here, but I can't get my, my knee underneath. Okay, like th this is hard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the arms, preferably I I want the, the foot that's more behind. Okay, so like like this one, see it's more behind. I'm gonna swim through the back and I'm gonna break the lock from there. So I could keep one 
one arm on. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I would keep one arm, but eventually, like, when you get really good, you could you could stand up all the way, like posture up. Yeah, there. Like, like, let go, and then immediately scoop, 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 scoop. scoop. Yeah, there. Let's go again. This is good. Yeah, I mean, you're already standing up, right? So now, like, think about ways. Yeah, there. Nice. So I think in, in nogi, yeah. a lot of times, like, if you're able to stand up from that from that close guard, I have to immediately start to attack and figure out ways to, to get you down. Otherwise, like, if you could stand up and you feel like you have more of an advantage on the grip fight, then I would immediately either get out of there or if you're more comfortable with leg locks, like go into leg lock exchanges. Okay, so if we try again. Bang. Bang. Uh, sometimes I feel it takes a little bit long to lift this one up. It, it just takes time. Like some guys who are really strong and like like they pinch here and like they're always like breaking down your posture they're playing this game like it's it's all like the small battles so for example like battle one is i'm, I'm always trying to get these these inside ties but even before that like let's say i'm winning the battle and i'm here yeah. i'm already getting these bang 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 like from here like i'm a step ahead of you by breaking down your posture this low so now you got to figure out a way to get out of this this grip you got to figure out a way to get that. And sometimes I'll even open up. Maybe I go here and I start to attack this. So you got to anticipate that too. Right? Because if I feel that I'm going to be losing the close guard, then I'm, I'm going to start to transition do other things. Or you, you get, like, the better you get, you'll start to develop um, your own path to figure out what to do from here. I mean, let's say we're, we're here, and you're saying like you break out here, yeah. and then you start to invert and to start attacking the legs, right? From here, I'm immediately like getting out into starting to pass guard. <laughs> okay? If it's like uh, you're still pinning me with one arm, and you're reaching back, it was like... So for here, I'm here, I'm pinning, you're saying like here? I'm just trying to do the reach back one. Yeah. And it's just my legs and kind of stuck. And your, your legs, like they're, they're kind of like stuck here, right? Like, uh, I don't know, my hips are really bad, but for some people, like they're just holding on, even if I'm reaching. Oh, they're, they're like pinching here? Um, try, try this technique out. So remember the thing I, I talked about, like getting the knees on the inside? Another thing is if you can't, Let's say you can't get your, your knees here for some reason, and we're standing. Another thing, let's stand. Yeah, so this one, I'm driving my knee in this way, okay? Um, the problem I've been having with that is, if I have one arm on the inside and I'm not aware, they can start to shoot up triangles. Yeah. Okay, so, so try that. Um, okay, if we stand up, we get the knee on the inside and then we start to push here, okay? If that doesn't work, here. But I don't want to stay in this pocket for too long. So if, my, if my leg is in this pocket for too long, then you could start to do other stuff like attacks. Because right now, like my, my leg is extended and you have this, this under space here to be able to start working X guards and Ashi transitions, whatever. So let's try that. <laughs> so I can just go straight to it? Or? Um, you need to stagger your stance. So right now you're like squared. So it's, it's hard to get this in front here. Yeah. Yeah, there. So now um, uh, you could work towards getting the underscoop. But the other thing you want to do 
is for, for this instance, drive your knees to my hip. Yeah, there. Like you just, that's the problem I have sometimes, it's hard. Yeah, so, so drive this. Yeah, there. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, there. So from here, see how I immediately went here? So if you stand stand back up, immediately like uh, get get this away and go into this. So then now we're gonna work our passings from here, right? Or like if you could get a step ahead of me, you can go into leg locks. But for this, like immediately, like once you start to break the guard, think about like position, like positions that help you in passing. All right. So if, if we go. Bang, I'm here. I start to break, bam. I'm immediately thinking about getting this or I'm going into these passing scenarios like, like, that, like that. So the thing with like opening up a closed guard is that it's kind of like one of the first skills you want to learn before you start to work into, um, into guard passing. Because let's say like, so if you, if you start to pass my guard, like a really common scenario it's like, this is like the worst case scenario if you're, if you're trying to pass guard. I mean, there's, there's other things, but if I get both my legs on the inside, then it, it shuts down your guard pass, right? And then from here, I can start to work my attacks. Boom, boom, boom. Like other, other things from there. Okay, so, um, do you have any questions at all? You're good, right? Okay. 